hello guys welcome 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 back again to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back i do not take you guys for granted thank you so much indeed it's been a long time coming i know i've been mia for quite a long period of time it's really not my doing <laughs> It's just that a lot of things have been happening and I don't have control over it. Okay, so that's why I've been MIA. Okay, and I think that it's it's it took about um a month or thereabout. But before you see this video, I'm sure you would have seen a video before this one of me announcing the fact that I am. <laughs> expecting <laughs> i'm super 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 excited i'm so grateful to god it's been god all the way i don't take any of these things for granted even through the period of this journey that we have been into god has been sustaining me and helping me out it's really not been easy like i really give women kudos like mothers Oh my goodness, I didn't know. I have, I, mean, I had no idea the fact that I know that like women go through a lot, but I mean, experiencing that yourself, I mean, hmm. <laughs> well, I pray that as many who are expecting or hoping unto the Lord for the fruit of the womb, the Lord will bless you okay and you will conceive your own bundle of joy at the right and at the appropriate time that god has set for you okay don't relent don't be discouraged just know that god is there for you and if you have lost a child or you have gone through the journey but you lost a child in the process i want you to know that God is still with you. God loves you and he knows the reason or there is a purpose for that thing. Probably he wants you to share, be able to share your own um, um, maybe knowledge with people or your, your own experience with people. Okay, so there's always a reason for, the, for everything. That is what I believe. Okay, and I pray that even as you go through this journey, the Lord will help you. The Lord will encourage you. The Lord will strengthen you, okay? Like, hmm. man, it's not been easy. So this video is just going to be about me um, giving you an account of the journey of my first trimester. <laughs> okay, so let me even tell you guys. I'm now in my second trimester as as now, as in, as part doing this video, okay? But I'm sure you will not be seeing this video, like until when i'm like okay <laughs> like i just want to enjoy this process and to be able to learn some things as i go okay so please bear with me okay maybe in my subsequent never can tell okay but i still did my best to also um make videos for you guys so that it will not be like I just went through the period and I didn't share with you guys. So, yeah, you guys are part of my family. So, I'm here to share with you guys, okay? So, hmm. So, um, in that video of me doing or uh, running the test, like my the pregnancy test, I got to find out that I was pregnant. Well, I, I had tested five days earlier before my... Um, my period was supposed to come and it was negative my goodness I was searching for lines but I couldn't find any line and then one day I, I believe you would have seen that video when I was shooting a video of me making my hair and re um, washing it and making it myself that was the day I found out I just realized that I was just becoming so exhausted and my tummy was aching and my head was aching. My body was just disorganized. So I thought, hmm, why don't I um, do a pregnancy test? There is no harm in that. I mean, it's almost the due date. I mean, it's supposed to be, I think, one day or so to the period, but 
I just decided to take it and voila, I did that and it came out positive, even though it was a friend line. I'm going to insert a picture of it, okay? Excuse me. So, yeah. So, my first trimester, it wasn't an easy journey, I'm telling you. It's really not an easy journey. I know that a lot of people used to um, come out on social media, like experiencing how beautiful it is for you to carry your child. And I mean, there are a lot of women that experience different things based on your own body, uh, uh, physiology, and it's basically different for everybody. And mine might even be less assertive than other people. There are some people that go through a lot but in my own case, I, I want to still give God the glory, even though I still feel like I went through a lot, okay, because I haven't, like, felt that way before, okay, you can see that I'm, I'm already sweating, <sighs> that's it, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, and, um, so, so when I found out and I was pregnant, Already, I was already feeling the signs, like um, the cramps in my lower abdomen and um, um, always getting tired, exhausted and all that. But I felt like it was probably because, I, you know, I had just finished writing my final exam. So I felt maybe it was due to that stress too. But when I found out I was pregnant, that was when I never realized that, oh, so this was it. So after I had done that, I told my husband i'm sorry i don't have a video of me telling my husband because it was such an emotional period for us at that moment so i couldn't really record that video okay and so when i told him we just got praying we appreciated god and we decided that we didn't want to share with families yet but i really needed to tell my mom because like each time I, I will be telling her that I'm not feeling well or maybe when she calls, I felt like, I mean, even, let me even ask, when is the right time for you to t- inform your parents or your loved ones that you're expecting a baby? You know, in Nigeria, I, I, we have this, I don't know if I would call it mentality, about the spiritual stuff that when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to announce to people that you're pregnant and all that. There is some kind of things that will go on so i don't really know how true that is but i don't want to like <laughs> be the one to experiment it okay so nevertheless i was able to um tell my mom and i told her not to tell anybody else anyway she she kind of understood and she knew as in like she already knew she wasn't the one telling me not to that she understood why i had to tell her so yeah and then afterwards then it kicked in like in full <laughs> i could not eat anything like i basically could not eat anything i was vomiting even though not frequent i was mostly nauseated i was feeling nausea as if i'm going to throw up but i will not throw up i was spitting oh my goodness as in when i was in school in college days when women come in when they are pregnant with cups and we spitting it i used to feel like that so disgusting i i i never thought that i would do that <laughs> i never imagined i would be doing that but yeah it got to an extent that when i wake up in the morning there is there is spit in my mouth that i have to pour out and i can't swallow can't swallow such kind of, such kind of spit because so bitter and has one kind of taste like that i don't even know and i have to throw up the speed and it was so really annoying i had to uh, and sometimes i will throw up when i'm going to go and brush my teeth my tooth will be paining me <laughs> i was feeling sick weak body weakness a lot of things generally and um men and it got to a point that i was down with malaria even with all those things i was down with malaria again and we had to i had to take injections in order to help me because i couldn't take <laughs> drug i couldn't take drugs so i rather went with injections and i felt a bit better off and 
Yeah, and it, it didn't mean that that doesn't that doesn't mean that your um, the 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 nausea and all those things will stop. No way. And there are some foods that <laughs> when I just perceive them, something that I normally used to eat like fried rice, I couldn't eat fried rice. I couldn't eat jollof rice. I could. I couldn't eat basically anything. It's just sometimes I'll be like, okay, I want to eat spicy things, like something with pepper. And I was drinking, um, um, what was this drink? Uh, fresh yo, fresh yo yogurt. So I actually like that. And I was drinking water, cold water at that time. Right now, I can't drink cold water. Like it's warm. It's not warm. I can't drink it. You know, I'll be nauseated and I want to. I'll feel like I want to throw up even up till now talk more of then so yeah that was basically how i was feeling and my goodness <laughs> man when i whenever i'm down like that i can't cook and even when i go to the kitchen to cook something for myself to fix something for myself because basically my husband is usually not around so i have to do it myself i'll end up not eating it i'll end up throwing up I'll end up feeling weak. I'll just have to lie down and rest for a while. And I was feeling cramps on my little abdomen. Like, basically a lot of things. Like, women. <laughs> I give them a good do. So now we're done. We're done. No. When I don't tell us that now, like, this night things they go. <laughs> but anyways, I really, really, I really am enjoying this moment. Like, I'm taking my time to learn through the process, okay? And, um, yeah. I think that's basically it. There's nothing more than that. That I've actually said. I had a lot of support system. Like, my husband, my mom. Like, she said, ah! And let me even say this. But one of the things that also helped me was also taking um, my local food. That is to the damat to to that was what i was drinking you know, with garden egg and pepper that was what was like helping me <laughs> i couldn't eat anything like my husband would be eating i'll be looking at him like so you're eating and i'm not eating right you're eating i'm not eating <laughs> but i didn't blame him anyway how is he supposed to just like shove the food away when he's hungry sometimes i would tell him to go to the parlor or sitting room and go and eat <laughs> because I don't want to be seen. I know I'll be hungry, but I can't eat it because when I eat it, I'm going to throw up or I'll feel nauseated and, and the food will not be able to stay in my stomach one way or the other. So, one thing again I was able to eat was fruits. I could take oranges, I could take watermelon, I could take pineapple. So, those were also helpful for me. And, um, is there any other thing? brain you 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 get to forget a lot of things like what for that so yeah so those are the things that i've been expressing so far okay so i'm just going to show you my bump my i would say my first trimester bump <laughs> okay let's let's do this I don't know if you guys can see. You. So this is how. This is how my bump look like. Let me adjust it. Okay. So this is how my bump look like. Okay. Let's see. So this is it. <laughs> yeah. So that's my bump. Okay, so so that's basically it. That's my bump. I hope you're enjoying this video and I hope you also support me one way or the other. You can see that I'm already sweating. I've just been procrastinating on making this video and I just hope it come out well at the end of the day but anyways thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you again in the next episode see you guys bye